Hello and welcome to Access U TV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today we're talking business. We're talking business planning. We're talking business management and business planning. How does it get any better than that? So what is business planning to you? What does that mean? How long do you have to stick to the plan? And what happens if you don't stick to the plan? Will your business go down the gurgler? Will you just des destroy it in a big ball of flames? Or will you just go, oh, okay, cool, this plan's not working for me anymore. What else is possible? What else is required? What can I change here? What could I choose different? Who or what could I add to my business that would create a totally different reality? So what brings this topic up today? Well, as some of you know, if you've been following the blog for a while, my husband and I are owners of a concrete placement company and we are at a point where we ha there's plenty of work around yet we can't actually take any more on because it's all in my husband's head. It's all in here and so we've got somebody in who is working with us on a consultancy um, process of getting all the paperwork in place, all the um, forms and documents and procedure manuals and stuff all up to date. And what also she is doing is um, asking a lot of questions that is bringing up a lot of awareness, which is brilliant, I love it. And the other thing that has shown up a couple of times is the need to plan, the need to plan. And there's been this energy um, come up for both of us that has been around the place of oh well you know don't really want to plan because you know humanoids as soon as you start planning you put it all down on paper and then it's done and then you're bored and you don't want to actually implement any of it so that's what we've employed her for so when you're looking at planning what if you were to look at what you desire to create where do you desire to be? What is required to be at that point? And uh, rather than putting it down, okay, so this month we need to be able to do this much sales to produce this much work, to have this many staff, to da 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 What we worked with her today to create was a sense of, and I've been doing it every day in the Energy Pool series, um, to create that awareness of what it is Glenn actually desires the company to be like in 12 months time what he desires it to be like in five years time so that he can get a sense of okay cool so if I desire to be working this much and receiving this much money and currently I'm working this much and receiving this much money <laughs> what is required to be created what can we be looking at implementing? What changes can we be implementing? What things can we add? What people can we add? What people or things can we remove? Um, and where and when and who and how and all those things can show up. But if you don't have an idea, an energy of which you wish to create, then you're never gonna create it. If you're just kind of plodding along going, okay, yep, this is, seems to be working uh-huh there is no energy of creation there so what energy of creation can you be that would allow your business to expand to create the life and living you desire now you may be just a one-person band in your business where there's just you and that's all you ever want it to be and you may be looking at it going, okay, cool. And I love doing this artwork and it just brings me so much joy and there's people out there willing to buy it and that's cool. And I really hate doing the accounting. I'm really not very good at approaching galleries or whatever that is. Is, is there something in your, um, in what's required to create your business that's not working? that you don't actually desire to do. So by looking at the overall energy of what you actually desire to have 
as your business, what you desire the energy flows to be like, the money flows to be like, what you desire to be doing in your business, what you desire to be being in your business, what sort of joy it does, you desire it to be bringing you. And when you look at that, go, okay, cool. Now what's required? What if by asking, now what's required, you get a sense of an energy? And you're like, okay, cool, that's required. And you get a newspaper and it says that there's a Chamber of Commerce meeting, maybe. And you go, and go huh, that matches that energy of when I ask what's required. Maybe if I go along, there'll be a, somebody doing a talk or I might meet someone or may just get me out of the house long enough to give me an and I might drive past a tree that inspires me of what sort of painting I want to do next. Who knows what will be created by that. And yet you've gotten a sense of the energy of what you desire your business to be. And you're moving towards it. Now for us in the concrete company, we do have staff. We do have, uh, you know, trucks and stuff like that. <laughs> um, and with that, Comes a little bit of a more of an interesting sense it's like okay cool so how many staff do we require to be creating that and when do we require to be employing them and if we're employing them what sort of staff would be con contributory if I can say the word <laughs> um, to creating that business as that energy that I'm asking for it to be created as and as you ask questions like that, these energies show up and it may be that you go to trade staff and you know employ somebody for a couple of days and it turns out they're really amazing and you invite them to become part of the team. Or it may be that you know you're driving down the road one day and you see a man on the side of the road with a sign, we'll work for food and you say, hey dude, ever done concrete? <laughs> But it matches the energy, like his sign matches the energy. Okay, cool, why am I stopping here? Why am I talking to this guy? And as you're talking to him, somebody else walks up and goes, why are you talking to this beggar? Oh, well, you know, he said he'll work for food and I'm looking for a concreter. Oh, I've got plenty of years experience in concrete. But Who knows how it shows up? But would you be willing to ask for the business you desire? And be willing to ask for it in chunks of how you see it showing up. So, okay, so what would I design my business to be like in a year's time? And there'll be an energy show up. What do I desire to my business to be like in two years time? Five years time? 50 years time? And the, if you were following along with those questions, you'll notice the energy changes as you ask those questions. And Cool. And then the next question is, okay, what, what can I implement today that will create that along the way? And to me, that's planning. It's planning for what you desire your business to be like. And it may just be an energy in this 10 seconds. And it may also be a, um, a possibility showing up today who, you know, it may be somebody who's a labourer turns up and then they start getting the general gist and they're like, hey dude, I'm thinking about getting my HT license. Really? Awesome. Let me assist you with that. And what can we contribute to that? Would you like to be able to use the truck for your license test? You know, all those sorts of things can start to show up and start to expand and start to be possible. But if you're just sitting there going, Oh no, planning's a bad idea, you know, I, 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 if I have a plan, I just never stick to it. And da, 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 da. What if planning was actually asking the universe, asking your business, asking you what it is that you desire, what it is your business desires, and what can the universe contribute to the creation of that? And if you are willing to function from energy and follow the energy, and follow where it leads to be possible how does it get any better than that and how much easier does it get any better than that and I will say if you ever need a business plan an actual physical written business plan of this is the pay somebody else to do it never even look at it don't buy others real and true 
use it to create whatever you need it to create whether it's a loan for a bit buy a new truck or whatever um, and keep creating your business as you desire it so thanks for joining me here at access utv what else is possible with your business if you're willing to plan using energy all right catch you soon